Welcome back. Was that fun? What you're supposed to do is make a reverse dict. So you will have a string and for each word in the string, you want the key to be the word and the value to be the word backwards. That's some silly nonsense, but it's an opportunity to practice. So what happens here is that in our dictionary comprehension, we are for looping through the split of the text. So that's all the words. Oh my goodness. Then we're going to have the lowercase version of the word as the key. And for the value, we have the lowercase version, but we have this little chunk of syntax, which reverses it. And there it is. Isn't that strange? The second one is a more realistic example. We have a list of temperatures, of precipitation amounts, of the direction of the wind, and we're going to show dailies. So once again, we're going to take in any number of sequences. Now this is a neat little trick. Here I have a tuple of days, strings, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And you want to realize that the index of the first one is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, so that their order of the index gives the right order for days. We'll see how we use that. So we're going to zip together all our sequences, but the first item in the zip result tuple will be the days. So Monday, we'll have the temperature 80, precipitation 0, and the wind 2 southwest. OK, so that means the day is day to 0. There it is. And then we have the tuple for the rest. Now we're going to sort our dailies because we put them in a dictionary. They are no longer sorted. So we'll sort them. And our lambda then is that for every key, which is a D because it's a day, we're going to get the index of that D in that tuple. And so they'll come out sorted according to the day. That's a neat little trick. And then we'll print out the day shoved over to the right in a field of 20. And then we're going to join up the formatted string for each of the values in the value for day. So each of the items in the tuple that represent that day, they get joined up with a tab. And what gets joined up is a formatted value shoved over to the right in a field of 10. So we have this very nice looking table that comes out. Beautiful. Okay, thanks for being with me for that one. I'll see you in the next.